the site where the panel had the meltdown. It was these two hots that you could see can, were either melted together, looked like they had melted together, or came into contact with the ground. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but this whole panel, had, all this bus work had completely melted down. The uh, thing is, we replaced this panel, it's just 125 amp service, which is what this is, but it's no longer to code. So the power company uh, allowed me to put this in temporary and they scheduled a disconnect for Thursday, you know, so if I didn't replace this but on Thursday, they wouldn't reconnect the power again. Uh, so that's what I'm doing today is changing out this 125 amp service to a 200 amp.
So I just finished up this job, uh, got the 200 amp service installed, everything's strapped. I got my ground rod, uh, two ground rods driven with the ground wire running in between them. Uh, got all my tools back in the car, uh, waiting on the power company to get here, to turn the power back on. Actually the code enforcement has to come first and then they'll call the power company and come get it turned on. We turned the power off at seven and it's about 11.30 now, so a little bit longer than I want, but um, 
I guess with the video and everything, it took me a little bit longer. So uh, uh, I think everything will be all right. There's nobody here, and the refrigerators have been closed. So, you know, when you open a refrigerator, that's when all the cold air runs out of it. Uh, anyways. Whoa.